Hey guys, I have a very quick important market update. It's 11 o'clock and 15 minutes in the morning. And you can see that Bank Nifty, as we've discussed, is staying strong. Remember one point I've already made in the last couple of videos is that whenever from a short term downtrend, the market has to reverse. My words are very simple. COVID is over. You can't get V-shaped recoveries. But whenever after a downtrend, the market has to reverse into an uptrend, what happens is first markets will become volatile and then they will start to become very sideways or they will do a volatility compression at a particular level. And that level right now is 37,050. So what I'm telling you is very, very simple. Currently, Bank Nifty is staying very strong uh, thanks to ICICI, thanks to Kotak and thanks to um, the Axis Bank, which is trading currently at 718 levels at the highs. So what you have to observe is Today is Wednesday and Wednesday ahead of the FOMC is going to be volatile. It will screw with your mind. It will play with your emotions. Only trade when you are certain that this is about to happen. So this is a signal of strength that I see on Bank Nifty. We're already way above the 36,612 levels that I've already given you. And right now you are seeing a volatility compression happening at the upper end of the range. So if the markets start to in the next couple of hours, if whenever the markets go above 37,050 levels, that will be a signal for all of you to go long take a 50 point stop loss but that is a signal where you go long on banking charts so just keep that point in mind you will not look at any shorts for intraday unless until 36 800 levels are broken and even if this level breaks your shorts should end by till somewhere over here that is my advice so look for long opportunities on bank nifty once this level 37 or 50 starts to break without breaking these lows so that's a that's what I'm talk, teaching you, that markets after a fall, when they have to reverse, they will first become volatile and then only they can reverse after two, three days. If you look at the charts of Nifty, Nifty is the weaker index. I think we've talked about that. But if you look at and understand Nifty, there is something which is very important and you need to understand. Anyone who's gone short, so it's a clean, you know, breaking of the rage. But what's happening is that the banking index is not supporting the markets to come down because the banks have 40% of weightage in Nifty. So what's happening is what you have to observe is that if you are still short on the market, right? If you want to take a fresh shot, first of all, if you want to take a fresh shot, then my suggestion would be let's let these levels again break. That would be a clean inside bar setup. And then you can go short immediately on the breaking of the mother candle lows. But if let us say you're already short in the market, then I would say your compulsory stop loss would come above 17, come at 17,250 levels, which is nothing but these candle highs. The reason I say that is very simple because if these candle highs get broken, anyone who had went short in this market must have been trailing stop losses above these candle highs. So once this gets broken, it would make it quite certain or I would have reasonable understanding that the markets today will not want to break the lows, would not want to go down and it would be, want to become very, very volatile. So I would request you all to cut your shorts if you're in any above 17,250 level. And then markets, if even if they come down, they will try to get bought into. That is my advice on the charts. I will not waste too much of your time. Have a good trading thing, guys. Cheers.